Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to attempt to talk about this Optimus Prime. Uh, pretty big, doesn't fit. Oh, camera's definitely gonna fall, but I'm gonna attempt to try and review this guy. Ordered him on Mercari for like 20 bucks. This is the uh, Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Optimus Prime. I don't know. I think this was a Target exclusive back in the day. Um, I'm pretty sure it was outrageous, like 60 to 80 bucks or something that was not worth it or whatever it was. But he's got some nice size, have some issues with him. Uh, tried ordering him once on Mercari for like dirt cheap. And the seller, I'm not even going to say anything about the seller, but ended up canceling. So ended up ordering him again for 20 Again, if you want, for whatever reason, if you want this like I did, he does not go for very much. If you can find the right person selling him, whether some have issues, some are missing pieces, like in general, or for example here, the back here, which was the gimmick, one snapped off right away. It was loose. I ended up just taking it off. I'm going to attempt at some point to remove this whole back piece, this, whatever this was supposed to do, shoot its missiles. So hopefully that'll make it look more accurate, but we'll see how that ends up going. So, oh, come on camera. This guy's, again, he's huge. Uh, might as well show a size example now, size comparison. Here he is besides the Earthrise Optimus. So, I mean, he's double his height, almost three times with the weird dragon shoulder things on um had a sword had a shield didn't come with that didn't come with any of the missiles uh i think it'd be really cool to 3d print some swords and stuff for him so not sure i'm gonna end up trying that uh the, i'm pretty sure the hands are just five millimeter ports same as the pegs on the side so that'd be cool to do but get into them articulation uh the head if you can see that just swivels and can look down basically for the transformation. Arms go out. Bicep swivel. Single joint elbows. Nothing at the hands. The hands move a little bit. Like they almost want to have a hinge there or whatever it is there. But they didn't put one there for whatever reason. The Technically you can get a butterfly joint basically out of him. Now this one is kind of loose. But it just tabs in there for transformation. But if you want it back a little bit, I mean, you basically can do that. Swivel at the waist. Legs go out. Can go forward, back. Single joint elbow or knee. Knee swivel. And then the thing I wish was there was stuff at the foot. Or an ankle rocker or anything. There's nothing at the feet. So he'll stand up, but he looks very awkward. Um use so a little bit of paint chipping i think for the most part now it was 60 or 80 bucks whatever it was so i'm honestly gonna say it doesn't have the best paint for that but i think for what's on it is all right knowing i paid 20 bucks for the size the silver that continues a little bit over here on the head all looks very good the green i think it was green in the show if i remember correctly not too sure i need to end up getting the normal version of this guy but legs have that same nice silver one nothing in the leg nothing really out but the foot there which this again this whole piece this whole leg is just one piece the hinges though sound really nice on it um the backpack mentioned that a little bit earlier i'm not exactly sure how this looks again i'm gonna attempt to take it off i don't really care how it works but uh for transformation i'm pretty sure that's for transformation which i attempted transforming him and it did not look the best so i'm just gonna leave him in robot mode but messing with it there's some stuff you can do here with him and you're supposed to end up pushing down on his chest part here and I, I'm assuming they'll pop up or shoot out. I'm assuming it was meant to just keep pushing this 
and the whatever six bullets, eight bullets it has will just pop up, but not necessarily how that works. Um, with that there, the head does get annoying. Um, look in here, again, the head swivel has mentioned that, but looking down the, this piece here, it's in two basically separate pieces. You can see there where the hinge is, but this back piece, unless you have it, I guess, up like that, I prefer it down, it just sits there. And sometimes when you move it, it ends up hitting this back part and it'll just try and enclose. It's pretty loose, probably needs oiled up or something, but could just be my copy, could be all of them. Over the place, oh, sorry about that. Just, he's so huge, but uh, here he is. Showed him off with the Optimus, but here he is besides a Black Series. And then here he is besides a Valverse figure, which I do need to review soon. So, he might not be as big as I'm making him out to be, but he definitely has some height, some weight to him. The chest, pretty heavy. I'm assuming it was supposed to have sound in it. I didn't try, didn't try and put any batteries in it, but I'm assuming something when you move that sound made or something. I'm guessing the battery pack because I'm pretty sure the seller said had a battery pack was right back there. So, don't know how that works, but it could work. After trying to wrap up my final thoughts here, um, is it worth it? Depending when. If you want everything to work, I guess if you can buy a new package, but sell one for 200 new and package, I don't think this is even worth 70 or 80 bucks like it was back then. But I paid 20 bucks for it. If you can get it for 20 or below, some people had it for 10 with 10 bucks shipping. Um, I think it is worth that. Compared to what you get nowadays, this is a huge chunk of plastic. Really enjoy it. So 20 bucks, yeah. 80, not for me. But glad to have it. Gonna go on my Transformers Prime shelf. But there he is. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.